Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to look at a particular detail about uh, generic functions. So you may have seen in one of the other videos that, uh, oh, am I on the right machine? Yes, I am. That we can define a generic function like this, and then we can define a number of methods which provides implementations of this generic function for um, arguments of different types. And there is another way you can actually define these implementations in line in the Jeff generic form. Um, most of the time you want, you might have def methods kind of in different places in your projects or entirely different libraries, extending types that you didn't originally create, which is awesome. Um, but because this inline syntax does exist, I want to show you how it's done. So what we do is we do, we say method, um, and then we provide the arguments x say is a number y is a number and then we provide the implementation x and y we compile that it compiled uh, this was the same as this implementation so we don't need that anymore and we can do it for all the others as well so let's just take this in fact we'll just wrap this around here bring it up replace this bit with method this bit with method now this is really a stylistic thing. If you like it, you can do it. If you don't like it, don't. That's no problem. Most of the time I prefer having them separate, but there are occasions where this might be a little bit cleaner in your code base. So it's up to you. I just want you to know that this exists. So thank you for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye.